Next up, I have Jasmine Early, and followed then by Artisha Bomer, and then Charles Richard. Ms. Early, welcome Thank to you. the Senate Oversight Committee. You have three minutes. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to start with an Hispanic from South America with a bad, bad grandmother and a Hispanic Indian native mom. I believe in one race, the human race. With that said, I can tell you that I'm not a racist. I'm a legal immigrant who is speaking here because I took my pledge to become an American citizen very seriously. I was a Republican certified poll challenger at the TCF Center from November 4th to November 5th. I was one of the victims of harassment, discrimination, and intimidation by election workers while I was fulfilling my duty as a challenger. What the witness has shared are no conspiracy theories. Several times, election workers tried to remove me from the room with the false accusations that I was impeding their process. They were the ones who blocked me from seeing the ballots, and when allowed, workers would complain. An election worker was brought up to harass me with the base of being too close. However, among themselves, they didn't social distance. I explained to him that I was only following the chairperson direction in and out. Somehow we got to the point that English was not my first language, and he implied that then I shouldn't be there. I told him that he was discriminating and that he was treating me like garbage. He went away. Later, poll workers whispered to each other and brought police officers to remove me. It was pretty intimidating having officers approaching me when I had not done anything wrong. I understood they were trying to do their job. I noticed an officer was Hispanic, and I talked to him in Spanish. They were being, that they were being lied. The officer started backing up. I witnessed many Republicans being kicked out of the room, and it was scary. That is not the America I came to a few decades ago. They were mad kicked out and not replaced, even though they were Republicans outside to be allowed to enter. It didn't happen. Since I was not able to see the poll book, books and didn't have anything to compare with, I was legally advised to challenge every ballot. The workers got pretty upset about it and advised to their people not to stop the process and dismiss any challenge. I had pages of One notes minute. of ballots here. I had an affidavit where I can prove you that I didn't see, we, did, we couldn't do anything. There were people entered with a 11900, and I took the time to check those people. Um, they didn't allow me to challenge it. The names of the people are here. I, while the Democrats are dismissing the finding from challengers, is those people were alive and registered to vote why they were manually, manually entered. Why weren't the ballot boxes properly sealed by the workers? Several of them were unattended, and I had a list of those tables. Me and another challenger questioned why those boxes were unsealed. The election director proceeded to seal them. As an American citizen and on behalf of the people of Michigan, I'm here to demand that you remember you took an oath to defend the country from enemy, domestic, and foreign. Remember it is your moral, ethical, and lawful duty today to seek for an investigation on the chain of custody. Demand election integrity. Do demand a detailed forensic audit. You can go into history as the heroes for doing something right for this country and bringing to light what is hidden or as cowards who didn't have the courage to protect the election integrity. You will be remembered as those who took a courageous and political incorrect stand, or as dishonest people who side with the fraud. It is your choice. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> Senator McDonald has a question. I just want to say hi to Jasmine. Jasmine is a constituent of mine. How are you? I'm good. Um, I don't Thank have a question. I, I just want to say I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that every one of you had to go through this experience. I think it's reprehensible. And I think it's unforgivable. So thank you. It was hate toward us. That is how I described it, described being there. I didn't come to a country that I will be mistreated in that way. I love this country. I will stand and fight for it. But nobody, no, doesn't really matter. I didn't grow up seeing people by skin colors. No matter who you are, no matter where you came from, 
you should seek for integrity because outside the country we see America as an honest people, filled with honest people with integrity. I want that to be preserved and that is why we are here.